All right, but obviously we're still sort of hanging on to winter. Hopefully the worst is behind us, but, you know, we could get more, and Lextran is ready for the challenge. Jill Barnett of Lextran is here with us today, and we welcome you. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Well, last week was very challenging, I know that, but you kept the buses running somehow. We did. Yeah. Um, it, it certainly was a challenge. Probably the, the, the biggest weather we faced in many, many years, um, but, you know, our buses kept running. We were out there every day last week. There were some days we had to operate on our snow plan, um, but we were still picking people up and getting them where they needed to go. Explain to us when you say operating on the, on the snow plan, what does it mean? Right. Um, well, there are the city's priority streets that get cleared, obviously, like the Nicholasville Road, Harrodsburg Road. You know, those are the main, main corridors that we are able to operate on. There's some residential areas and secondary streets we cannot serve um, simply because they're impassable due to snow. And you look for the snowflake, is that the way it's designated? Yes, look for the snowflake on your sign. If it is serviced during snow plan, there will be a snowflake decal on it. How difficult is it for those drivers to operate safely uh, under these conditions, uh, you know, that were very adverse last week? Right. I will certainly say I'm glad it was them and not me. You know, they are highly skilled and they go through a, a long training program. So, so they're they're capable of dealing with all situations and all types of weather. Um, you know, we have several drivers who. Um, who have no accidents on their record ever. We have, you know, Randy, who, who hopefully you see on the Eastland route there. Uh, he is a million mile safe driver, so he's driven a million miles with no accidents, and we have wow. eight of those drivers on our staff. So did a lot of people take advantage of it when they couldn't get their cars out? Did you have an increase in ridership? We um, didn't really have an increase in ridership, but we had lots of phone calls coming in. We, you know, 5,000 calls last week to our customer service center. People saying things like, you know, I haven't ridden the bus in years. Can you help me find, find the stop or find the route close to me? I don't want to get my car out. So, so we did see some of those folks coming out. Well, there's so many businesses, particularly those that are out around the interstate, sure. who just depend on getting their employees there Absolutely. Uh, from you residential know, areas, right? About 20,000 people that we took, you know, to, to their jobs Monday through Thursday of last week. And, and I, I say to their jobs because more than likely those are the only people that, that were going out if you had to. Um, so, you know, that's the main reason people ride the bus every day is to get to and from work. And, we saw those folks last week. And when you're riding under those adverse conditions, you really need to say thank you to those drivers. They're yes. doing a great job. Yes, we appreciate them very much. Well, we appreciate thank you me. coming in. It is uh, good to know that there are so many of those uh, drivers with such uh, tremendous records. Sure. As well. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Coming